Autopipe has a helpful utility called the Fluid Transient Utility that allows us to very easily input some information about our hammer load that's occurring. And from that, Autopipe will automatically create the time history location and time history profile files. So for this model, all we input is the fluid information, the start time and rise time of the event that's occurring that's causing the hammer load, in this case, a valve is shutting quickly, and the path of the model through which this event is occurring, along with the flow rate change. Once I input this information, Autopipe automatically creates the time history location file for me. In here, we also see the time history profiles that are created at the start of the event and every change in direction that is seen from the beginning of the path to the end of the path defined. These time history profiles or forcing functions can be reviewed and then they can be applied by setting up a time history analysis set. So in here, I can apply my time history location files and also select from some additional options, including static correction and damping. And these are gone over in more detail in the water and steam hammer auto pipe dynamic analysis training class.